Talking Toffee is proudly in association with EFCFeelingBlue.com and GoodersonGossip.com. You'll have heard many football fans question David Moyes on his lack of trophies during his time at Everton. I can completely understand why people are asking questions. Moyes had 20 attempts at winning either the league or FA Cup, and that's not including Everton's appearances in Europe. But you also have to be rational. David Moyes did a stern job in bringing back the stability the club craved and needed. Let's be honest. Everton were a little chaotic for most of the 90s and early 2000s. Stability is something we definitely didn't have and with regards to the appointment of the next manager, it's vital that the ship isn't rocked by bringing in the wrong man with the wrong ideas. All the good work of the last 10 years could go to waste in the space of months if Bill Kenwright brings in the wrong guy. I know the example I'm about to give is worlds apart from our own, but Barcelona with Pep Guardiola are the fantastic example of a club in recent times that have enjoyed success from promoting a new manager from within. Granted, we're no Barcelona. Victor wouldn't get a game up top for them and Ozzy wouldn't outmuscle Messi for a starting position, but the same principle applies. For want of a better example in English football, the abortion from across the park enjoyed success in the 1970s and 80s, as they always like to remind us, through a chain of in-house managers running from Bill Shankly to Kenny Daglish. Of course, if Everton were to follow suit, then Stubbs would be the obvious candidate given that he is currently in charge of the under-21 side. There have been other people linked within the club, people like Phil Neville and Duncan, but they both seem unlikely. Neville looks set to join Moyes at United, and this job probably has come a little bit too early for Duncan. However, he is one for the future from the comments I've recently read. Being born in Liverpool, Stubbs knows what Everton are about. He gets it. He's played for the club and he's spent the last few years in and around Everton. He's more than aware of what we expect as Everton fans. He also knows the way the club is run from top to bottom, so he won't be in a state of shock when Ken Wright tells him that his transfer budget has the value of a used condom. One of Guardiola's starting strategies at Barcelona was to bring through some youth he had previously worked with into the first team, and he benefited greatly from that decision. Stubbs would have the same knowledge of those ready to make the step up at Goodison, Bringing through youth players is going to have to continue to be of utmost importance as we're unable to compete financially with the clubs around us. I know this won't be considered as the glamorous option for Everton fans and some supporters may accuse Everton of taking the cheap option, but with all what I've said in mind, Stubbs should not be scoffed at. This is Talking Toffee. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and leave your comments underneath the video.